Hey my scrappy friends, uh, welcome to my channel today. I am creating a page because I can and I am cr creating a page with a bit of a story. This is my sister and my sister-in-law. They're expecting their first baby and as you can see I've already thrown some bits and pieces together. I wasn't sure if I was going to record or not but I decided to and I'm going to put a little something in the background. I'm using the Fancy Pants Joy Parade collection. I love it. It's so fun, so bright and I organized um, the baby shower for these guys and we went with a rainbow theme so I thought the colors were perfect. So I'm going to pull all this off, do a little bit of work in the background, put some layers behind my photo and you can watch this page come together. So I am back. Um, firstly, I'm just going to say that this page was actually created for the master's entry for the Australian scrapbooking magazine for last year. And this was made back in, I'm going to say September or October last year. So it has been a little while since I made this page. Uh, so I don't remember exactly all the things that I did. There you go. I'll put it like that. I marked where my photo was going and I decided to trim off the off a quarter of an inch off all four sides rather than half an inch off two sides because I'd already placed my photo. I'm going to mix up some white heavy gesso here with some colour shimmer dust. Now you get to watch me add in, this is either navy or cobalt colour shimmer dust uh, and then I add in peacock. I'm trying to match it to the background paper that I'm using. So you get to watch me mix this color up. I'm pretty sure from here I add more peacock and then I go in with uh, one of the greens. I think that it's Paris. I'm not 100% sure. But playing with the colors, you can get your own colors and the right shades and I don't mind getting messy at all so this was a bit of fun uh, I did I did find myself getting frustrated when I couldn't match the color exactly uh, but I got there in the end uh, good enough that I was happy and good enough is good enough so I'm just adding a bit more gesso here and there a bit more color shimmer paste uh, that is not color shimmer paste color shimmer dust <laughs> so how are you anyway um if you follow me on social media, you will have seen that I have quite a few videos coming up for the end of the month. I have a little bit of a backlog that I kind of went, you know what, uh, my channel's looking a little bit empty at the moment. I will add in some videos and, and just commit them on paper, which normally is enough for me to follow through. I'm thinking of using my kind of free-ish time at the moment to make some sort of routine on my channel. I know I've asked this before and I know I get lots of anything that you want to do is awesome. So I'm kind of thinking that I might try to catch up on my project life. I'm like two years behind. But that's okay. <laughs> there is no behind in scrapbooking. It's about fun. Um, I Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what else I have in mind. If there's something that you have seen of mine that you would like me to do more of, uh, let me know. If there's something that you have seen of mine that you'd like me to do less of, that may be stupid voiceovers where I talk like a maniac, um, let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really would love your feedback. You guys are the ones that, that watch this so please do yeah give me give me some ideas give me give me some yeah what you want uh okay back to the layout so i put that gesso mixture through my stencil then i've adhered my white cardstock to my background paper and i splattered all the way around where the texture was with color shimmer dust i just added some water to each of the colors i've used and i've just sprinkled them around I've gone with a rainbow theme uh, for the colours around as well because the baby shower was rainbow themed. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. I've still got all of it sitting in a box waiting to be used. I still haven't scrapbooked this baby shower. Oops. 
I, we were very lucky. My father-in-law took some photos for us and I've got lots to choose from. But I have lots to choose from, which is when I have too much to choose from, I kind of freeze up a little bit. So I just need to sit down and make a few decisions and get some printed. Maybe pick my favourites, print those and get started. <clears throat> so I'm just adding the layers behind my photo. Adding two halves of the doily. And I have a little visitor. He wasn't in full, in school full-time last year, so he would often come in and visit with me. I think he was fascinated by all the bright colours. You can see his little hand there. He was cute and fat and squishy there. It's not so much anymore. He's six in a few, in less than two weeks, and he's very excited. And this little guy, the one that was in the tummy is over one already. I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, I'm just placing back all of those embellishments and things where I had them before. Those balloons are so fun. I love them. And I love those. They're kind of fireworks, but not really. Like streamers. I just think they're so fun. Um, putting my title at the top there. I've used this so much from the ephemera pack and then the happy alpha stickers. I'm sorry if this voiceover was all over the place. Like I said, I did record this nearly 12 months ago. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it though. And if you do follow me on social media, keep your eyes peeled for some more videos coming. A lot of the ones that are coming are kind of under 10 minutes as well, which is a bit exciting, I think. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm winning when I get them under 10 minutes. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will see you again next time. Thanks for stopping by.